So in this video, we will talk about season 19 or season of the Seraph and how the play loop for the season works. As you're aware, with every season that comes in Destiny 2, there's typically story missions, some sort of activity, and there's a play loop where you bounce between that and other activities to earn currencies that you then use to unlock upgrades and then ultimately level up the reputation of the vendor from that season. In this case, the vendor is your evil Uncle Clovis. Yeah, he's back. And he's trying to awaken the war mine along with Anna. Now, what you do with him is that every week, just like you've seen in previous seasons, you have a couple of seasonal challenges which will unlock exo-frame modules. These exo-frame modules, which you, it looks like you can do two of them a week, you use these to unlock upgrades that will allow you to get high stat armor, or certain type of weapons, or get things more efficiently within the activity. So again, it's like we've seen in previous seasons. In addition, he also has bounties that you can use to level him up as rep. And every time you go up a, a reputation level, you do get an umbral that you can go ahead and take, and that will allow you to get weapons or armors for free. The main currency is going to be Resonant Stems and Seraph Umbral en Energy, as well as Seraph Keys. Resonant Stems and Seraph Keys you get from doing activities. The Seraph Keys you get more frequently, there you get larger numbers, the Resonant Stems you get less. The Resonant Stems you actually need, along with Seraph Umbral en Energy, to focus Weapon Ingrams. And then the Focus Armor, you only need Seraph Umbral Energy. Again, the Resonant Stems of Seraph Keys you get from doing all sorts of activities. In fact, one of the most efficient ways is to probably just go in and do public events, right? Heroic public events give you quite a bit. The Seraph Umbral Energy, that's a little bit different. You get that from upgrades on your Seasonal Pass or from actually opening up chests that you get when you get in the heists. And let's talk about the heist for a minute. The heist is an activity where if you took Wrathborn Hunts and the Old War Mine events and you smushed them together, you'd have an ugly baby. No, seriously, it's interesting, but again, if you've played those seasons before, especially the War Mine one, it's gonna seem a little repetitive. But how it normally works is you start at the very beginning, you're going towards the bunker, you have to defeat some enemies, and there are these pa these towers that are kind of like, you know, Lord of the Rings, Eye of Sauron looking at you. If you let yourself get seen for too, uh, too much, too long, then you'll actually die and you'll have to respawn. So you'll get through, kill the enemies, get close to the tower, and then go inside the first part of the bunker. As you go in further into the bunker, you're going to have an area where after you kill some enemies, you have to protect the ghost for a while, right? We haven't done that before. You protect the ghost for a while, and then I'll lock the ability to go further into the vault. Then you'll have a puzzle on the f that you have to avoid or you die. Then you will actually get to an area where you have to breach the vault with lasers. And so what you do is you split up and basically one person goes one way, one person goes the other. You pick up lasers and you use those to take the seals off the vault. Once you're through that, then you go in to the final boss. The boss is pretty simple. You kill enemies, hurt the boss. At some point, he gets a shield up to take a shield down. You're going to have to kill yellow bars that'll be denoted. You'll, you'll actually be able to tell which they are and deposit five charges. Once you deposit those five charges, his shield comes off. Once that's done, you're go obviously that will, once you do it the first time, you're over time as you finish the first quest, you're going to unlock an actual playlist where you can play it over and over. On that playlist, when you complete an activity and if you have enough Seraph keys saved up, you will then be able to open up a chest that will allow you to get Seraph Umbral Energy, which you'll need for focusing Ingrams. So again, the Seraph keys that you need to do all of these, you'll get to do an activity. So a lot of this is gonna be going to activities, which are public event, crucible, strikes, whatever you want, getting the keys, then going into the heist playlist, and then getting the Seraph energy and the resonance stems and everything else you need to focus weapons and focus armor. Once you complete that with the challenges every week, what you're gonna do is basically progress a, a campaign type story that's gonna go through the, the entire season. And when you finish that, you're obviously then gonna be presented with additional information, sort of story information that you'll see through the hologram or through the radio messages that you typically see in these activities. One of the things you will get when you finish up the story every week, and again, it's a really short story. It's probably longer than the one we had last season, but they're, they're fairly short story missions. Once you finish that up, you'll be presented with being able to pick up stems, energy, or a gear engram at the, each, at the end of each one of those. And that's really the activities, guys. It's really about going in, playing your core activities, 
getting the materials you need to then go into the heist playlist and be able to get loot and then progress the story as you go along. As far as my thoughts on it, I think this season, um, some of the weapons look interesting. I think the um, story looks interesting, so I think that'll be good. The story will probably be better this season than it probably was last season, especially when it has Osiris and Anna and the Warmind and Clovis. That's a lot of characters. But I will tell you, the activity itself is a little underwhelming. The good news isn't terribly long, but again, taking Wrathborn hunts and combining it with Warmind activity, both which were some of the, actually the most subpar activities we had in Destiny 2, probably not best use of our time. But again, if you want to progress the story, that's what you're going to need to do. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.